Hello guys and welcome. So in this video I'm going to be answering the question what is Resident Evil Village aka Resident Evil 8. This video is aimed at people who know nothing about Resident Evil Village and have always been curious. Hopefully your server is going to start a guide for you. Also as well in the background of the video I'm going to be showing the announcement trailer and I'm going to be linking as many useful resources in the description box below including to the official website, to the Wikipedia page, um, not just of Resident Evil Village but of the Resident Evil series as well and anything else which might be interesting along the way I'll be sure to update the description as I go. But before we continue a quick message from Past Mifri. Thank you for watching the video so far remember to give it a thumbs up subscribe and ring the bell to help with the YouTube algorithm. Now back to the video. So Resident Evil Village is an upcoming survival horror game developed by Capcom. It will be the 10th major installment in the Resident Evil series and the sequel to Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. The game was announced at the PlayStation 5 reveal event in June 2020 and is scheduled to be released in 2021 for Windows, on Steam, PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. Um, the developers have also made their own video talking a little bit more about the game, which I will also link in the description. It was actually a really interesting watch to give you more of an introduction. So the game is set a few years after the events of Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. During the reveal, uh, Capcom's uh, Kellen Haney said the story's um, Ethan's world um, is suddenly comes crashing down once again when Chris Redfield, an unexpected yet familiar face, makes an appearance setting off a chain of events that sees a distraught Ethan seeking answers to Chris's shocking actions and ultimately finding him in a mysterious village. Um, as with Resident Evil 7, the game was developed on the RE engine and is set in a first-person perspective. So basically, it's going to have the main protagonist of Resident Evil 7, Ethan, and it's going to have a returning major character in Resident Evil franchise, Chris Redfield. Um, and we can see that the game looks beautiful. So um, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to quickly visit the official website. We're going to see what's written on there about the game as well. Link is in the, the, in the description. And um, if you have any other resources about this game or Resident Evil generally, let me know and I'll be sure to keep the description up to date. So uh, let's go to the official website now. Okay, here's the official website, link in the description, residentevil.com forward slash village. So this is Chris Redfield. It looks a lot older. So um, this special developer message is the other video link, which I will put in the description box as well. It's definitely worth watching. I highly recommend watching this. Okay, about the game. So uh, the next generation of survival horror rises in the form of Resident Evil Village, the eighth major entry in the Resident Evil series. With ultra-realistic graphics powered by the RE engine, fight for survival as danger lurks around every corner. Years after the tragic events of Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, Ethan Winters has started over with his wife Mia, finally leaving in peace and putting the past behind him. However, Chris Redfield, the legendary hero from previous Resident Evil games, suddenly disrupts their life, throwing a devastated Ethan into a new and twisted nightmare in search of answers. Ooh. And apparently this has a very significant meaning to the game. That's at least what, that's what the developers said. So we have certain images that you can peruse. And they said the next update is coming August 2020. And as you can see, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and Steam. So yeah. So hopefully, guys, this has given you a good basic introduction into what is Resident Evil Village. I am very much looking forward to this game. Um, one of my friends, she is a Resident Evil fanatic, and she's also now the Resident Evil community manager at Capcom UK. So, hey, so she's definitely got me into the franchise. And um, yeah, so I'm definitely looking forward to this game. There was some reservations about the frame rate of the trailer that was shown. But as with everything, remember, it's a in-development trailer. Performance um, issues are sorted out later. You know, I think a lot of developers just want to get the core basic gameplay up and running. Then they'll optimize the crap out of it onto PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. 
And I'm sure it'll run amazing on PC as well. I mean, all the other Resident Evil games that came out recently have. So the the RE engine hasn't let us down yet. So I, I have faith that it will be good this time as well. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. You can watch a random video over there. You can watch the latest upload down there. Or you can click down here to subscribe. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.